Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino no Kuni. Last time, uh, we just did the Coliseum and the Casino, and now we'll finally get back to the main story. Get the Sky Pirates. Let's go! <laughs> uh, I wish the rotation's a bit faster. Let's see. Petulagan? No slacking you lot. Mm. Now you're for it. Ready? Get a load of this. Big horn or right hand. No slacking you lot. You just need the big bird. Swing. Step aside. Or major bird. Get a load of it. Poison the gun. I tried to get it when I was getting it. Sprite or sugar plum sprite? Uh, sprite. Um. Mm. Second wind water cannon, snow blower. I don't know which to pick. Oh, it he has. This has mag higher magic attack. Let's go sugar plum. Let's... <laughs> I'm about to say go, but... Uh, uh. This looks like a buff. Second one looks like a heal. A revive? Wait, can I... Yeah, let's go... This... Sugar Plum. Nice. Level one again. Can't, can't believe they're thirties already. That's crazy.
Whoa, there's a turtle. I don't want to get that one. He's wait, they're running away. I want to fight the turtle. Major birds. Not scared. Job father. <laughs> Here goes nothing. He's level one, so let me bring him up. So over to you in that game. Ready? Ready? What regular attacks? Um, okay, I'm only doing one. Let's swap to. Sorry. The wild. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, 
you guys. Wait. Allow me. Here goes. Ready? Get out of this. Yeah. like so much of everything else other than stars. Raider Griffey. Here. Oh my goodness. Where is it, Mon? Holy shit. Edo, it's a huge ship. Ship? Well, if it is, it's a pretty flippin' weird one. I mean, it's made out of metal for a start. It hasn't even got a sail. No, it hasn't, so how does it move? Uh uses its engines, of course. Hang on, you lot don't know what it is, do you? It's a flying ship. They call them airships. This is an airship? Does that mean? Yep, I reckon it does. We found the King of the Sky Pirates hideout. Damn, looks so cool. Skull Mountain, King of the Sky Pirate. Holy shit, it looks cool. Brilliant, so Kublai must be here somewhere aboard. Hang on a second, if this is a Sky Pirates hideout, where's all the flippin' Sky Pirates? We best be careful, you lot. Gee, I wonder how it flies. Do you think you'll let us ride it? Oliver, well, this is no time to be daydreaming about flying ships. Oh, uh, sorry, you're right. We need to find the map of the stones, huh? Tell you that's what we're doing. Blimey, he's such a kid. Sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> Only kidding, I know how, just how you feel. But let's concentrate on the stones for now, shall we? Sure, Swain, let's sneak on board and see what we can find. Yeah. Okay, it looks <laughs> it looked like there's gonna be someone there. And we got a free heal. That's the wrong one. And four. Over here. And what's with all the empty spaces <laughs> that don't do anything? Oh, so big! It's hard to believe something so huge can actually fly. Boy, a lot. Don't you think we're getting a bit too close a bit too easily? This is what usually happens before. Avast, who goes there? A flipping ambush. Oh no! You filthy thieves are here to plunder our plunder. <laughs> I'd take a look in the mirror before calling someone a filthy thief, my friend. 
Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. You know that, girl. Why would you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? You're either mighty brave or mighty stupid. Knickers, we're flipping trapped. Trapped, I tell you. Ha! We have company, I see. Oh. Oi, Captain! <laughs> That's Kublai. That's him, is it? Crikey, look at the face of him. There's gruesome. Hey, we came here to speak to you. That's right, we have a favor to ask Captain Kublai, sir. Ha ha ha. Stroll uninvited into my mountain stronghold, hoping to be granted a favor. What are you, would-be heroes, come to take back your plundered treasures? <laughs> hmm. By the skies. Boy, I'll hear you out. Come aboard. Huh? We're gonna be pirates? Hmm, that's quite a tale, lad. Why, it's true that I plundered that map, and I'd do it again. That lily-livered fop of a prince had it coming to him. Hey, don't talk about Moccasin like that. Not now, Esther. You need those magic stones. Yes, we do. We need them to help defeat Shadar. By disguise, Shadar. You mean to cross swords with the Dark Jinn? That we do. We've got to stop him before he breaks the hearts of everyone in our world, eh? Yeah, yours included. <laughs> you come aboard my ship and dare to compare me to sniveling wretches who fall prey to Shadar. Let him try to break me, I'll show the scurvy dog what it means to face a true adversary. Well, I'll say this for him. He's not lacking for confidence, Shadar, and to be sniffed at. There's none knows that better than I, fairy. So if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be pos possessed of the skills to do so, I take it. Aye, of course you are. So this'll be child's play for heroes such as yourselves. Uh, what will? Don't fret, lad. It's just a little test of your swashbuckling skills. All in a day's work for a battle-hardened warrior such as yourself. <laughs> huh? Oh? Oh, what's that sound? Is it a fight? Holy shit, that's so cool. Uh... A dragon. Oh, it's a dragon. Hey. Uh, red dragon, the scarlet and all. Kind of looks like uh, what's her name? Morgan's mom from Dragon Age. <laughs> Just make sure you can't see. Holy shit! We could steal from this. Fig before, Mon. The flipping thing looks proper vicious. Our only hope is poison, Ollie boy. Dragons hate the stuff. We wait till its guard is down, then we have Swain to shoot the blight at her full of rotten mock, ain't it? Oh. I guess it's poison, huh? Now you're for it. Ready? No effect, what the? Wait, let's try that again. Ready? With me, there was not an effect. What? How? We just need to keep shooting. To interrupt. Yeah, that's a good thing about Swain. He's fast enough to interrupt, I guess.
Finally, I get to see you anyway. <laughs> It's a free skill. I'm never using it for swing. fight so <laughs> or in a while. The last few fights are kinda of difficult. We did it twenty fifty. What we can evolve? Well now, that's not there's not many face the old girl's breath and come away unsinged lad. You're a plucky one and no mistake. Mm. What? Why would you set her on us if you knew she was that dangerous? Yeah, mon, what are you doing calling in a massive great big dragon of all of a sudden like that? I nearly left the bin wet myself. Silence dogs. I'll ask the questions here. The wand, where did you get it? Oh, well, what does that matter to you? I'll let you have it, no matter what you do to us. It matters to me, girl, because the accursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What? what queen? Never you mind, now follow me. The map's aft in my cabin. Do we get this airship? All right, Grumpy Guts. We're still the good guys, right? I only ask because the King of the Sky Pirates appears to like us. Eh, you're kidding, aren't you? Get it all over. Let's go and look at the map. Where are your worms waiting for? Move your scurvy carcasses. Yes, sir. Oh. Well, I was just there. Oh, I think I know where that is. This is what you came for, the map of the stones. All oh, the stones I saw earlier. <laughs> this here, Mar X marks. Where the stones must be hidden. A remote island. Makes sense, I suppose. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a ship. Let's sail there and find them. Pipe down, girl. Do you think the boats of those seafaring simpletons could reach where even the mighty Iron Wyvern could not go? <laughs> eh. What the flippin' are you on about? a site more complicated than that. Weaver here is too large to land on the solitary isle. The seas around that rotten little rock are riddled with reefs. Jeepers, so we can't get to the stones? Don't start sniveling yet, lad. There's a way there, all right. The back of Tangri, a wiggly dragon and master of the skies. None flies faster or higher than the pride of my pack of wild worms. Crikey, there's impressive sounding. Come well on then, where's the Tengri? Now, fairy, there's the rub. Tengri has been stuck down with the tragic Lurgy and flies no longer. Lurgy? What? You mean he's sick? 
Ah, nothing's ever easy, is it? Don't speak too soon. We'll have the mighty wizard Oliver on our side after. Hmm, you mean to heal him? Well, we can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. Holy boy here's got a spell or two up his sleeve that might get your dragon friend back on the wing. Yes, we must have something to have a work, Oliver. Let's go and meet this dragon, shall we? Sure. Uh, where can we find Tangri, Captain Kuplai? No doubt the great lump will be cowering in a corner of the cave somewhere, feeling a sorry for himself. See what you could do. Thanks. Come on, everyone. We have a dragon to save. I hope we can help him. You lot love nothing more than a charity case, do you? I guess, if you get experience. I doubt there's much you could do for Tengri Boy. We have already tried every herb and potion known to man. Every? Okay. What's this? Our wee skyfarers love nothing more than throwing a few ingredients together to make something, but it's some be a meal or a mechanical marvel. Really? I thought you spent all your time plundering and pillaging. Aye, that we do, but we wouldn't be able to sail the skies if we had to rely on others for day-to-day -day necessities, now would we? As Captain Kublai always says, only the craftiest among us will live to spend our plunder below. Hey, sounds like a hard life. It is, lad, it is, and most cr ju and not just crafty we have to be. It's creative, too. I'm forever jotting down new formula, you know. Sounds like a bit much like hard work to me, the sky pirating lark. Sure does. They're even tougher than I thought. Say, would you mind if we look at your formula? Mind? Of course not, lad. Nothing gives me more pleasure than to share a recipe or two. May they serve you well. Okay. What the? I wasn't expecting that from a random sky pirate. Chocolate bonbons? Frosty flat, grease cake, cold steel sundae, game pie, mm. and soft scoop ice cream. Steel claws. Yep, jade marbles. Make those. Steel armor. Ripple ropes. Metal glass shield. Cyclone cloak. Shadow glass scale, storm seal, trick type of this. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of formula. It's a dragon. Okay, I guess this spot wasn't so useless after all. Let's go here and heal. Mark my words, boy. The name Kublai Khan commands respect wherever it is heard. Wasn't that the, like, a the guy from Ghost of Tsushima? Kubla? It was a Kubla Khan. I forgot. <laughs> Dangri's a gentle beast, but when those wings start flapping, his hair outstrips even the old Weirin. Crikey. <laughs> this dragon looks like he'd lose a fight with a fly, man. Not like one we just fought proper feisty he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Trippy. What's up with you then, Tenny boy? Wing on it, touch of horn ache. <laughs> Come on now, mon. We can't help you if you just stand there going like that. Uh, I guess he's trying to say something to us. In, you know, dragon. Sure, Ollie boy. Well, if you say so, let's have a listen then. Oh, you mean? Flipping Akbar, look lively, would. How many animals have you spoken to now? And you still don't know what to do. Catch the spell, David. I did, I was just hoping, I was just going to say that. Damn it. <laughs> Trippy, <laughs> Trippy's the best. He says what I am thinking. Hello, Tangri. We wanted to talk to you if that's okay. Yeah, we heard you're a bit poorly in it. Tell us what's up, Mon. Maybe we could help Black. Hmm? Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tangri? Poor thing. There, there. He won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You want to fly again, don't you, Tangri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Alright. 
Go on. Hey, I feel strange. There's a me who isn't me. Another me and he's sick, so so I can't fly. Or Tangri, do you think he means? Or she's got a soulmate over in Ollie Boy's world, and it. You mean back in Motorville? Like Myrtle and I? But Tangri's a dragon. It happens to Ollie Boy. You've seen people with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? You mean like Timmy and King Tom? Sure we have. Exactly, and I reckon Tangri's super sensitive animal mind means he can tell us what's going on with a soulmate over by there. God, that was a lot. <laughs> What are you lot talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. Uh, I can't really be bothered to explain it to you now. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tangri, the other you s sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry, we're going to make him better. Oh, so you'll be able to fly again soon. Really? Really, and when you fly again, do you think you might let us ride on your back? Oh, uh, yes. All right, I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tengri. We'll help you, I promise. Gee, Esther, that was amazing. It was, and I got used to the girl. I clean forgot she had a way with animals. I suppose she's a familiar keeper after all. Yeah, Tengri's not a familiar, silly. No, oh, and he's not much of a dragon either. A massive wimp. You'd be a wimp too if your soulmate was sick. Or have you forgotten what it's like to be attacked by Shada? No, and I won't forget in a hurry either. Hang about. How come she never stepped in like that when we had to fight a flipping red track? I'm sure we could do something to help Tegri. Come on, let's go tell Captain Kublai. I'll leave it for now. Don't want to stir up trouble. So, Kublai. Maybe he has info? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> he's so goofy looking. Well, did you discover what made our mouse of my once mighty dragon? Well, we've got an idea, yeah. <laughs> then I suggest you find the cure fairy. I shall look forward to seeing it. Oh, and so you don't get yourself killed in the meantime, have this. Jumbo star drop. Hey, it's this one of those treats to make fun of yours. Meta, meta, for a uh, change? That's it, boy. Uh, I couldn't help but notice you were using familiars when you were fighting. And what a scurvy bunch of scrags they were. This little wonder old red muskuk <laughs> we destroyed it. <laughs> now, if but one of your familiars had eaten that drop I just gave you and reached the final stage of its development, you wouldn't have beaten her easily. Hang on, man. I thought we be did beat her easily. I mean, I hardly broke a sweat. M Mr. Trippy, thank you, Kublai, Captain Kublai. I haven't finished, boy. Every creature turns into one of two different types at the final stage of its development. It's up to you to choose the one you want. But all that, good. If you got any sense, you'll use as many of these drops as you can find. If you can't find any, make your own. Holy shit. Recipe? Gee, another formula, thanks. Right then, Ollie boy. Drops and familiars are all very interesting, but sorting old Tingries out are top priority, in it? Yeah, you're right. We need to head over to Motorville and find Tangri's soulmate. Alright, let's check this out. Uh, where would it be? Over here. Jumbo Star, Sun Drop, and Sun Crystals. Okay, these are easy. So basically, one planet drop, and then three planet crystals. But do I have those? No, oh, it's some of all of my key. How do you get these crystals, then? Let me check. Alchemy... Does it show how to make the crystals? Mm.
Try three. Nope. How do we get those crystals then? Jumbo. Slice and dice, so level 37. Come on here, let's feed him some eyes. Oh, wait, I don't have any. Okay. Alright, no, I don't dice. I mean, chocolate. Free chocolate. Ice cream, right? Wait, evasion? No. Chocolate? <gasps> oh no! I thought it's a magic and this regular deck. Whoops! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh. attack oh cake damn it <laughs> whoops I give this to I give him one chocolate bonbon how much does that do what well, let's give you the defense Now use Jamal's abilities up to 20 times. Oh, increase. Okay. <laughs> I was like, use. Alright. Uh, what else do I need to do? Eh, whatever. Let's go. Pick this one. Big way. Who would be related? I don't even know. I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Mornstar was no more, and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? <laughs> what you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. Me, Lord Garrus, you have used that spell, the one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the heart <laughs> of the very thought. What would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is Shadar who has been charged with the boy's 
disposal. Your Excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the wand he holds is incomplete. Without the power of the Three Stones, Mornstar is weak. Set against the might of our own wands, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? The stones from which Mornstar's magic powers sprang. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them yeah. now. Okay. That I have no doubt. <laughs> and how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. I propose that we awaken the Keepers of the Stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, your radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The Keepers of the Stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am... honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now yours to command. Have them all attack me at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure they'll, they'll get them. Radio Ollie boy, we need to find Tengri soulmate. Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a magic, massive flying dragon? <laughs> oh, you mean uh, somebody dragon-like? Come on, come on, you know everyone in town, don't you? If you can't think of who it might be, just ask around, ain't it? Who's a dragon? You must drink plenty of full of, of ice, full cream milk, and eat lots of red meat if you want to grow up big and strong. That's why Layla Store is such a great help. <laughs> that doesn't help, ma'am. It's Esther. I mean, Myrtle. <laughs> oh, hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Myrtle. Long time no see. How's it been working for Miss Layla? I love it, and I'm getting better all the time. I know the names and prices of everything in this- Damn, that's a lot of stuff. Very impressive, young lady. And I'm Swain, by the way. Who's this old dude? I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made my business to protect these poor kids here. I'm what you might call their guardian. Ah! Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you know she can't hear you, don't you? Oh, you what? <laughs> <laughs> People from this world can't see or hear us, silly. This girl is my soulmate. Can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can, now that you mention it. Yeah, Mon. They look just like each other, ain't it? They don't act the same, mine. Thank goodness for that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Her, Oliver, can you hear your voice? Uh, nope. No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, wanna know what they call me around these town these days? <laughs> People have started calling me Dairy Fairy. <laughs> like, it's a little embarrassing, but I kinda like it. Neat. Well, that's so great, for well, I can't believe how much things have changed for you. I mean, they don't call me Starry Mary anymore? Yeah, I guess the things have changed. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's a mad dog on the loose. <laughs> Strange, I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet though? No. Hey there, Genghis. Genghis Khan. <laughs> Are you out on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog is. That's right, it's Denny's dog. You no, know Denny, who lives next door to me? They're always out walking together. Well, I guess you can't really call it walking as soon as school's out, the two of them running off together all the door town. But I haven't seen Teddy lately. Even though you live next door? That's weird. So, uh, I always know when he leaves the house, I hear him laughing and hollering. At least I did until recently. I mean, he hasn't been going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he was just like I was. Cracky. You mean now he cursed Starry Ricky, now you mean we've cured Starry Mary. We've got Larry Carey to deal with instead. Typical. <laughs> Larry Carey? Mr. Trippy! What, Mon? I thought you couldn't flip and hear me. 
Girl! What are you getting so worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. Ah, Genghis. What could he want? Looks like another case for the heroic wizard who can talk to the animals. Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know you're supposed to be looking for a tangry soulmate, but... Please, could we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Second Myrtle, I'm going to ask Genghis what's wrong. Uh, sure, how exactly? Uh, I mean, I need to see if he has any clues. You know, being Danny's pit and all. Get up, on. you're making it worse. <laughs> you could be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyway, I'll have to open the store. I'll see you around, okay? Alright. But my voice was kind of weird off today. Or for that. Grr, why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you, my master? He's in trouble. Blimey, sounds serious. Grr, oh, you're listening now, are you? And you can see us? Sure I can, you're not exactly easy to miss. How come you suddenly started listening? Of course, he could see us, because animals are all sensitive and uh... Oh, and we're, we're listening, dog face. We just couldn't understand until Ollie Boy cast a spell in it. Oh, well, you seem to be so upset. We had to find a way of speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us, isn't there, Genghis, sweetie? Ah, <gasps> sweetie! Oh, sorry, I meant... Mr. King, sir. Mm, stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. And Master Denny is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You call me Genghis. I swear I know someone who talks just like you. I was thinking just the same thing. In fact, I gave him the pirate's voice. Doesn't Genghis kind of look like someone we know too? It's Mr. Genghis, Oliver. But yes. I had the same feeling. Who the flip? Who the flip could it be now? Kublai? How could we not have spotted it? Just look at that expression. <laughs> ah, could be old pirate face's head on another body. Now I look at it properly. There's sharp eye of you, Ollie boy. Just just like him too. Kind of rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kublai keeps dragons, but here he's someone's pet. <laughs> Hey, do you think? What, Mon, spit it out. Tangry soulmate, could it be Denny? What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? <laughs> oh, I get you, Kublai and Tangri are proper close, ain't it? So, it makes sense Genghis here would be close with Tangri soulmate. Exactly. But, what mean Kublai's pet in our world is his master in this one? Old switcheroo, in it? It's classic stuff. <laughs> Urgh, stop yapping and listen to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genghis, sir. Are you listening now? Good. Until recently, my master and I spent all our time training. Did, huh? I used to see you running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream. For my master's dream of making state championship. You were helping him train? Er, I just said that. <laughs> anyway, he didn't have make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy after all. Tell me about it. He didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's a spirit. That's just what I imagined someone with a friend like you would do. Then it happened, girl. Maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself injured, did he? Isn't that why he's not been out and about lately? I don't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine. And by the time I noticed, it was too late. Well, that's what's behind it all, eh? Grr, he lost his confidence. I was so convinced he would make the team next time, and then, suddenly, he was different. Hey, I bet he's... Heartbroken. Could be, Ollie boy. Could well be. That'll explain why Ken Tringri can't fly, too, huh? Then we have to help him. Mr. Genghis, sir, can you take us to your master? Sure, you could fix him, fools. He's been all... He's seen all the best doctors, and they couldn't help. What makes you so special? Nothing a doctor can fix, Mon. It's his heart, see? It's broken, and we just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Kangas, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help Danny. Very fine, but if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in our back garden. You know our house, don't you? I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Same old story, eh? 
I don't suppose there's any harm in Kublai owing us one in this world as well. Still here, Oliver? Did Dingus give you any clues? Sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Danny's hurt. Yes. Oh, that's terrible. I have no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genghis? I know, it's just figured it out, and it's worse than that. I think his heart may be broken too. I have to help him. I have to mend him. So sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not, but I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Denny and I were once good friends once. We were good friends. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I could help you this time. Hey, Myrtle, thank you, but don't you have a job? That's okay. Wow. New team. She's a nice girl, eh? Yeah, of course she is. She's my soulmate. Yeah. Let's fight, Daddy! Okay, I think this is the optimal direction. Are you still talking about this? Oh, no, castle! Castle lead away! <laughs> Genghis. This is your master's house, is it, Genghis, sir? Yes, but I can't take you any further than this. And he can't see us, in it? Looks like you're the man for the job, Ali boy. Sure. Are you sure he's in there? Sure, of course I'm sure. He's in there on his own. Can you just... Use magic to unlock it, man. Let me call him for you. It's that girl from next door. Danny! Danny, are you in there? Danny, it's me, Merle. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, no. Ruff, 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 girl. Merle, get back. What is that? Not again. It's another flipping nightmare. He's a zombie. <laughs> Denny's nightmare, void of confidence. Half confidence. Alright, let's go. Make sure I can't steal. Oops. What am I doing now? Ready?
<sighs> so I, I I assumed oil spill would just be not a damage. <laughs> Easy, kind of hard to defend on that. New trick slot, nice. Oh, metamorphosis. So dark. Oh, Stenny's heart. I feel it. I was crying out. I was in so much pain. There's weird. Must be a, the nightmare in it. Ah, oh, you mean Myrtle can see it too? I don't know. Do I? But it seemed like she could hear me a bit, didn't it? Maybe she's more sensitive to these things than most. Damn it. It's hard to see her so upset and not be able to do anything about it. Yes. Boy, Ellie boy. You know, it's not as simple as just beating the nightmare in it. Oh, it's like when now it happened to me, isn't it? So what piece of heart is he missing? Just get keep up. I'll never catch them. He's lacking confidence, isn't he? Oliver, we need to get some from somewhere. Er, Danny, Merle. Oliver, I think I understand what Ghani and Danny's feeling. Just like when it happened to me. Oh my, what can I do to help him? It's alright, all Myrtle. I'll help him, I promise. Oliver. Danny, wait! I need to end your heart. What do you know about my heart? I didn't make the cut. That simple. And now with my injury, I don't deserve to run. They'll all overtake me. And they'll all leave me behind. There's nothing you and I can do about it. Oh, Danny. Myrtle, I need you to do something for me. Can I help Denny? But I can't do it right away. I need you to look out for him for a while. Can you do that for me? Can you stay with him? 
sure I'll ever anything I can do to help. Thanks, Myrtle. I'll be back soon. This is all very heroic of you, Ollie Boy, but have you got any idea where you could find some confidence in a hurry? Ain't like it grows on trees, is it? Well, I, uh... Doesn't matter. Let's go back and visit all the places we've been to so far. Back in our world, you mean? Yeah, why not? There's got to be someone somewhere with more confidence than it's good for them. Thank you guys, let's go find some confidence. Parted company with Myrtle. Wait, don't I have... Oh, restraint. Alright, let's go back. Actually, this is a good place to stop. Alright guys, I'll end here, and then next time we're gonna go look for some confidence. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bye!